Most of my family struggles with high blood pressure or hypertension. My mother, father, maternal grandmother, and myself all suffer from this disease. High blood pressure may not be life-threatening, but it can increase your risk for dangerous health conditions if left uncontrolled. About 7 out of 10 people having their first heart attack have high blood pressure. About 8 out of 10 people having their first stroke have hypertension. And 7 of every 10 people with chronic heart failure have high blood pressure. Kidney disease is also a major risk factor for high blood pressure. About 70 million American adults have high blood pressure. That's one out of every three adults. Only about half of these people have their blood pressure under control. More than 360,000 American deaths in 2013 included high blood pressure as a primary or contributing cause. That's almost 1,000 deaths per day. Your blood pressure is normal if it's below 120 over 80, but anything over 140 over 90 is considered hypertensive. Laboratory testing is not diagnostic for hypertension, but tests are frequently ordered to detect conditions that may be causing or exacerbating high blood pressure and to elevate and monitor organ functions over time. General tests that may be included are urinary albumin, a BUN or blood urine nitrogen, or creatinine to detect and monitor kidney dysfunction. Potassium is ordered to detect Cushing or Kahn syndrome. Since high blood pressure medications can cause an upset in the balance by causing excessive loss of potassium or potassium retention. To detect diabetes and monitor glucose over time, which can lead to hypertension, a fasting glucose or an A1C can be ordered. To determine how much total calcium or ionized calcium is circulating in the blood, increased activity of the parathyroid gland, which produces an increase in serum calcium, is associated with hypertension. Lipid profile to evaluate the levels of total cholesterol, LDH, cholesterol, triglycerides, and assess the risk of developing atherosclerosis. Specific tests based on the individual's medical history, physical findings, and routine laboratory test results may be ordered to help detect, diagnose, and monitor conditions causing secondary hypertension. They include the measurement of the ratio of aldosterone to plasma retention. A ratio of more than 20 to 30 is suggested of hyperaldosteronism. A cortisol level to detect the overproduction of cortisol that may be due to Cushing syndrome. Metanephrines to measure anephrine, nor- norepinephrine, and their metabolites, primarily to detect the presence of phenochromatoma that can cause episodes of severe hypertension. A 24 hour urine specimen should be collected for sodium potassium measurements. If the urine of sodium is more than 100 millimoles per liter and urine potassium is less than 30 millimoles per liter, hyperaldosteronism is unlikely. If urinary potassium exceeds 30 millimoles per liter, the patient should have the plasma retention measured. Although you cannot control all of your risk factors for high blood pressure, you can take steps to prevent or control your high blood pressure and its complications. You should get your blood pressure checked at least once a year to make sure it's with normal, reduce other risk of high blood pressure by eating healthy foods and quitting smoking, and make sure you always take all the medications prescribed to you by your doctor.